Hey everybody, this is Fast Skip. This is season one. This is episode 11. Um, I can't believe we're on episode 11 already. Saying that, I have watched three episodes this week. I usually watch one. I've watched three. Um, this episode is called Till the Blood Runs Clear. Um, going by previous episodes this season, especially the beginning of the season, um, this is, has to be Dargor related just because we had that incident where he was injured and to save him they had to get his blood running clear. So logically that's where my brain's gone with this. Last episode we found out Moya is pregnant, um, which is a bit of a twist, um, but a good one actually because I think I'd said last time it's not kind of something you would expect for a, a living ship really. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out because it's going to change things. There's going to be two ships. We're going to need another pilot and it's, it's just going to be crazy. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. Let's go. Yeah, rocks. Aaron as in kicks ass. Yes. Oh, well, I take it that means you're pleased. I'm still not convinced that Installing these Moya components was a good idea. We lose contact entirely. Wasn't there a solar flare incident that caused the wormhole? Don't worry, we'll be home in time for dinner. But be careful, John. The star is unusually erratic. I love, I love shots like this. We should adjust our orbit. She's, 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 are you alright? She's basking. She was thriving off that. Shot. Is he trying to recreate? I mean, you're trying to create the same conditions to go back. It's a long shot. Oh my god. He looks unstable. Cry, 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 cry. Oh, he's too tempted. You could end up anywhere. If we don't get away from it, it's gonna tear us apart. Full thrusters. Cry, 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 cry. Through all the interference. Perhaps we should follow their trajectory and look for them. Oh, God, Absolutely. they could have gone anywhere. Aaron and Crichton are on their own. I can think of a reason. What is going on? Is this sun making everybody frisky? Mm -hmm. She's gone completely fabulous. We just started a wormhole. Yep, you did. Oh, nice. Why don't you both get aboard now so we can leave orbit? What? Dargo, obviously you didn't hear me. Acknowledged. And put your helmet on quite. Oh, oh, he's just installed all the stuff. Agent, but no way are we punching out. You don't have a choice. I might have just found a way home. Mm hmm Your home, not ours. Well, I am not gonna trash my module if there's any chance. Furlough. Uh, everyone's I'm getting furloughed at the minute. Furlough. Transmitting coordinates. I forbid this. You're with me on this, right? I think she's annoyed. Oh, now it occurs to you to ask. You look. Ooh. Maybe an ionized Frankel as well. Shouldn't be too tough to fix. I like the accent. How soon? Hard to say. Hardly surprising. It's not from here. Hardly looks space worthy. Primitive alloys, no hedge drive. This thing belongs in a collection, not in space. These players are gonna die down before the day's out. Great. How soon do you expect them back? Never. Regular as clockwork every 4.8 cycles. But we are in a hurry, and you're obviously the best mechanic on the planet. And we don't so want to get stuck here. Hurry up. Think maybe you can help us out? They're amazing. Nice glasses. Attention! There are fugitives among you. Fugitives that can be worth a great shit, deal. shit, shit, we shitty want. shit. The Luxon male named Car Dark. They need to stay on the ship. The second, the Delvian female named Pau Zotto Zan. And then Rigel. The third is a Hynerian who took his keeper command. Oh, it's just like a bounty hunter. Generally. Substantial compensation. <gasps> What the hell are these guys doing? Not a good way to let you claim there, John. This female is your mate. The best. So they are bounty hunters. Second best. <laughs> the 
Butch. And Sundance. Sun <laughs> <laughs> she's on the terrace. Oh, she's, she's soaking up the rays. At a time like this. <laughs> she naked. <laughs> <laughs> Was sighted in a system oh. far from here. We think this will be their next stop. You are correct. Knock it off. I don't think you want to cross these guys. What do you know about Luxus? We like spilled blood. You look like you do. Yeah, well, I don't. I'm my own. Higher percentage, please. Your personal encoding sequence is accepted. Oh, she is Officer good. Sun, you cannot hope to avoid us forever. You are also contaminated. You will, captured, you will face trial and punishment. Let's light a fire under furlough so we can ditch these dogs before the oh, flames go Oh, I think she's entirely. actually debating this. You're not taking him seriously. I think she might be. I always take him seriously. I'll try to make contact again once I've found right in there. You're gonna get captured. Those costumes, they must be sweating. That way. Yeah, he's on his way. They can just follow his footprints. Now. Oh. Excellent advice. The junk pile's gonna need a lot more help than I thought. We haven't got the time. But you can fix it, right? You're being close to a wormhole. Sure looked like a wormhole. It was a wormhole. Or at least the beginnings of one. Well, if you're right, then I really should get back up there. I recently come by a second-hand prowler. This woman's a bit shady. Hand him over and head after the other two. They won't hand him over. Leave him in your hands? No. Holy hell. It won't hurt us to try. I hope it doesn't just sit there and let them do stuff. Stop! You're making him bleed. Your point. It needs to run clear. Point. The beacon didn't specify. That's true. It didn't. Why are you protecting him? He's his hmm. friend. Perhaps the two of you are secret allies. Hmm? Then prove it. Don't you dare. Waste a little time. Don't you dare. Unless you oh, come do on. what I tell you to do, it's over. The blood's clear. Waste of time. The, the blood is clear. Well, if it goes straight out that way, there's a truly sand? outstanding expanse of sand. <sighs> sand, eh? Just as much as you could want. Recalibrating the retro thrusters. Or putting a tracker on the ship. No, he isn't. He's trying to access the flight recorder. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Oh. Wherever he was, he's dead now. You okay? I can't see. Look down on the planet. You oh, don't go down. Sure. 60% chance of recovery. Seven. Oh, great. Eight. How soon? Don't tell me you're not a cleaving ocular physician. <laughs> a new scent. <laughs> right now, I don't look at all. What are you talking about? She can't see. You can't see. Peacekeeper, actually. I know. Bad thing to say. <laughs> oh, at least she's got her wits about her. Oh no. This isn't gonna work, is it? No. We're gonna be friends. They're just gonna keep fighting. Friends. Cut it off. Her eyes are so unnerving. Hey, I feel for you, I really do. <laughs> oh shit! So we can be buried together. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll deal with this. <laughs> they are literally just surrounded by bounty hunters. She can't even see. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to help. I am Captain Viola Crace. No reward. <gasps> Is there any point in continuing this? How'd you do that? That was really clever. I the reprogramming, I came up with the idea. How's the vision? Oh, uh, it's blurring, but it's it's definitely. But it's better. coming back. What he means by honorable retirement is a radiation is death. brain fever to bring on the living death. Unless, of course, there's uh, something else of value you have to offer. And exactly. I don't mean your charming smile. I gotta keep moving. There's probably half a dozen bounty hunters on the way here right now. Probably. Well, then you really have a problem. I can start from scratch. I'll be waiting for you at the end of that wormhole. I enjoyed this episode quite a lot. I liked the inclusion of bounty hunters. I thought that was really cool. I liked that. The fact that Chris is still on our tails is it's just getting kind of we'll go a couple of episodes with like peacekeepers mentioned and then every now and then chris kind of rears his head again so i i quite like that he kind of is a bit of a recurring character that's coming in just to kind of keep us aware that you know this is going on in the background he is still exploring the uncharted territories looking for them i like that a lot i really liked fellow she had creepy eyes but Overall, I really enjoyed her characterisation. I thought the lady did that very, very well. And the fact that John's had to give up what could possibly be his only chance of getting home to have, and then having to start again collecting more data. It's interesting, though, that we now know we can create wormholes through John replicating the conditions from when he 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 got here. So at some point, I do think we probably are going to go back to Earth. So that'll be interesting um, to see, like, you know, if he does actually get home or not. Um, how much time will have passed if he does get home. There's loads of different kind of things that can be happening with this. But that's what makes this really, really intriguing, is that we don't know what's going to happen next. And I like that a lot. I'm going to sign off and I am going to say farewell and thank you.